This application is the reason why I fell in love with calculators and started collecting them. I started using this application back in 2016. Fast forward to 2022, I now have dozens of calculators. It is also part of the reason why I kind of fell in love with math. I've mentioned this uh, in many of my videos that uh, my very first graphing calculator was a TI-89 Titanium. That's the one with the computer algebra system. And uh, at the time I was I was in college, uh, I was taking a, a, a college algebra a course and I did not know anything about calculators. I did not even know what uh, CES CAS st stood for. So the professor was actually uh, very nice. He never, he never really told me that I couldn't use the calculators. You know, it's just uh, everybody else was using a TI-84, 83, but my professor never, he never minded me using a, a TI-89 titanium. I would even always ask him, you know, I would always interrupt the class <laughs> asking, asking for his help because I didn't know how to use the calculator. And at the time, I had a lot of stuff going on, so I really didn't have the time to, you know, to go online, go on YouTube, try uh, and try to find tutorials about it. It wasn't until I started taking uh, uh, my pre-calculus course, that's when, uh, because, you know, when you are taking a uh, slightly more advanced math courses, pre-calculus is not advanced by any means. But when you, tr uh, you are trying to take, in, w when you start taking uh, those uh, uh, math courses, more and more math classes, then uh, you become slightly more dependent on your calculators or should I say a calculator? Anyway, so as I was taking my pre-calculus uh, uh, course, I didn't always have access to a tutor or a professor, so I had no choice but to uh, start Googling the stuff. And <laughs> that's when I found out that uh, my TI-89 titanium could do a lot more than uh, I was using it for. So <laughs> I was kind of stunned, you know, I was kind of stunned. I would spend, you know, times, I would spend several minutes, I would spend some times you know, an hour on a problem, on, on several problems that I, you know, the, uh, the, uh, that I was trying to solve and I, I didn't have anybody to check my answer for me. So I could, just, I could simply just put uh, the expression into the calculator and it would just give me the answer in milliseconds. So I was, uh, I was amazed by its uh, capability at the time. So that's how I, uh, I fell in love with uh, uh, graphing calculators in general. And, uh, I uh, now know the difference between a, a computer algebra system calculator and a non-cast calculator. I know all this stuff. I even learned to uh, code to write programs on them. And uh, yeah, 2015, 16, that was a long time ago. That was uh, about eight years, uh, you know, that's about eight years ago, almost a decade. And uh, I've learned a lot. Anyway, I kind of digress a little bit. But uh, so when I discovered that my uh, TI-89 titanium could do uh, uh, those uh, complex expressions, I uh, I even I even start using uh, I start using it even more. You know, I would use it at night doing homework. And uh, since it was a little, uh, it wasn't uh, that convenient to use that calculator at night due to its uh, very small display and uh, the non backlit display. I was uh, trying to find uh, alternatives. You know, I was trying to find applications, and uh, I could not find any app. Online, the only app I could find was uh, for the non-cast models, and uh, the TI-8384, which was, w w uh, which were actually uh, the uh, required calculators for college for those college courses. But you know, I didn't really uh, since uh, uh, that was uh, fairly actually a lot different than, uh, than the uh, 89. I didn't wanna, you know, I didn't have, I didn't wanna, to, I, I didn't wanna have to purchase a whole new calculator just to learn some uh, some basic math stuff. So I came across this app, you know, this is the only app that emulates a TI-89 Titanium. Not only it does emulate a TI-89 Titanium, but it also emulates literally every single uh, Motorola 68000 MC, MC stands for microprocessor, MC calculators. So <laughs> I was, uh, till this day, I'm actually stunned by how convenient this app is, or, or, or I'm, I'm stunned on about how good this app really is. I can't remember how much I spent on it, but it wasn't really, it, it, it was nothing. It was probably less than, a, it was probably less than $7. I can't remember if it was five or $6, but the price, last time I checked, I believe the price has even decreased in like $4 or $5, I can't remember, but it's, you know, it costs nothing. And the app also has uh, two different versions, the free versions and the 
and the pay version which is uh, the one i'm using here i also have the free version on my phone you know just for just for the sake of it but trust me if you are into calculators especially if you have if you are into uh, uh legacy texas instrument calculators this is probably going to be uh, the best app you can ever purchase and i really am choosing my word my words like uh, i'm not I'm, I'm trying I'm, I'm choosing my words carefully this is by far the best the best app I've ever purchased you know not only educational apps but like apps in general this is by far the best app I've ever purchased you know for less than ten dollars I literally have like what like ten different calculators on my phone yeah I said ten different calculators it could even be more maybe ten or nine or even more than like 10 12 i'm not sure but in this video we're about to find out so this video is probably going to be long uh, my phone is showing me that uh i can record up to 28 minutes because i didn't uh, delete uh, the previous video i was recording uh earlier or uh the other days but uh anyways we'll see i'm gonna try to uh, fit everything uh <laughs> in that 28 to, uh, in uh, in that 28 minute but uh yeah so when you first uh, launched the app i already went ahead and, uh, and uh, reset it you know, I uh, already had my, all my calculators loaded, but for the purpose of this video, I decided to, you know, to just reset the data and everything, so, you know, so you can, uh, you can see exactly how to set it up. So, before I forget, unfortunately, this app is not available for uh, iPhone users. If you are uh, an iPhone user, if you are uh, an iPhone user, then uh, you cannot find this app anywhere. You know, there isn't any uh, emulation app for the Texas Instrument calculators. Uh, at least the one with the computer algebra system for iPhone users. This is only for Android. You know, this works really well. And uh, also a little background about the app. It came out in 2012. Can you be believe it? This app came out about 10 years ago. You know, I believe it came out in October or November of 2012. But yeah, anyways, it came out 10 years ago. And uh, the last time it was updated was in 2013. <laughs> So this, you can pretty much say that uh, this is a 10 years old app that I'm in, that I'm using on my uh, on my uh, Galaxy Z Fold 3 here. Near, 10 years after, <laughs> this app is I don't even know how to explain it. It's just uh, it just it feels like it was made for this phone. Whatever whatever phone you install this app on, it feels like it was made solely for that phone. That's how well it is. That's how how well this app was really designed. Okay. So when you first uh, launch it, when you download it for, for the first time and you launch it, you get presented to this uh, screen. It's gonna ask you for the permissions. I'm just gonna uncheck the contact. Um, you know, I uncheck it anyways because I've never really had any issue with it. And file in major, that is necessary because you're gonna, the app is gonna need to access your, uh, your phone storage to, you know, to save your backup file, to retrieve the ROMs and, and stuff like that. So I'm gonna click on continue. And uh, this is a warning that you are going to get because this app is very, very old. But don't get, don't uh, let this uh, uh, distract you. It doesn't really mean anything. It's gonna work really, really well. Okay. So you get this bunch of stuff, and unfortunately, <laughs> there are a lot of people out there that have zero patience. So they just wanna uh, download the app, and they they think they can just download an app and just. Uh, and just use it right away so this app works uh, differently slightly different so when you first launch the app you can't really do anything with it you just have this menu okay because uh, I guess uh, uh, because making this app and add the calculators would, would would have been kind of illegal I guess that would be like sharing the ROM files I'm not too sure on how that really works but uh, so you are actually supposed to, uh, you, you know, if you own the physical calculator, you are actually supposed to, you know, to dump the ROM files from your calculator and all that stuff. But let's be honest, you, you know, <laughs> you don't really have to look hard enough to find these ROMs online. Okay. So yeah, that is that. You can very easily find literally all the, all the supported calculators. You can very easily find the ROM file or the operating system files online in Google. Okay. So. You get presented to this screen so the first thing you're gonna do is gonna press the back uh, button or you know the return button and it's gonna take you to this page okay so if you want to exit out of the app you cannot do that just by pressing the back button you have to you know to uh, to go to home or you can just uh, go to your recent app and just uh, close it all right so you press the back button 
and uh, you have several options some of them are grayed out those would be available once you have a calculator installed okay so you go to ROM manager and uh, you click on add ROM if you click on add ROM then you would get uh, this pop-up window and uh, you have a browser at the top but uh, that's where you would go to uh, uh, get your ROM files but before I do that I'm just gonna show you the calculators it does support so I said earlier that it supports literally every single uh, Motorola 68,000 MC calculators from Texas Instruments. So that includes that includes uh, the TI-92 from 1995, the TI-92 Plus, and TI-89 from 1998, the TI uh, Voyage 200 from 2002, and the TI-89 Titanium from two, from 2004. Okay, so for those who know a lot about Texas Instrument calculators, then you will uh, realize that I haven't mentioned the TI-92 second gen or the TI-92-2 from 1996. Uh, but that is essentially pretty much identical to the original 92 from 1995, and I could not find that ROM, the operating system online. I couldn't even find the physical calculator itself on eBay or Amazon, you know, I can't find, I can't seem to find that calculator anywhere. The only thing you can, uh, I was able to uh, get on that calculator was pictures, that's it. But yeah, so don't get that fool you. That is pretty much identical to the original 92 from 1995. And uh, you also have the uh, 92 plus, which is a far, far better calculator than all those two calculators, than those two. Okay, so all the calculator I just mentioned, you have all, all all of them here except for the 92 2 or second gen which is not a big deal really and on top of that you also have uh, the most used calculator the most used calculators in the in college which is which are the TI84 and the TI83 okay and you have uh, several versions of them as well so you have the 84 plus silver edition the 84 plus the 84, um, the 83 plus silver edition, the 83 plus, and the regular 83. So that's how, how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Exactly 10 different calculators. And uh, <laughs> the best thing about this is the fact that you can have more than one, uh, you can have more than one instance of the same calculator. So if I wanted to, I can have 10 TI-89 because I can. And it doesn't even occupy that much space, you know, it, just a couple of megabytes, maybe two, one even for some. You know, some ROM files are literally tiny, like uh, 512, I think, I'm not too sure, but the ROMs are really, are very small files, okay? So yeah, and uh, all the calculators here are not color calculators, uh, because those are color display calculators, they have, uh, I mean, those are really complex to uh, make emu emu uh, emulations up uh, for so yeah, I kind of understand that, but uh, this is more than uh, anybody could, uh, could, uh, can uh, can ever wish for. You know, I never really thought it was when I first saw the app. Obviously, the smart move was uh, getting the free version first, and the free version actually uh, gives you the uh, the TI eighty two. I mean, the TI eighty nine and the uh, eighty nine titanium. So the the free version only give you the textures instrument. Uh, the eighty nine it does not give you the eighty four or eighty three. So because the 83 are you know are more popular than the than the 89 because uh, the 89 is not is not allowed uh, in college uh, during tests and exams and stuff like that. Okay, so enough talk. So I'm gonna go to browse and uh, the very first folder. That's where I keep all my ROM files. Okay, and also it's it's very well justified for me to have all these ROM files because I literally have all these calculators. I have thousands of calculators, so I literally have all of these calculators. I have several of I have several calculators of the same model even. Okay, so I go to uh, uh, my folder. That's where, uh, when you download the ROM, that's where they would be at. You know, it depends on your phone. It depends where you put your file at. So yeah, just navigate to your uh, the ROM folder or the operating system folder and just, uh, you know, select the OS you want. You know, so these are just uh, several uh, different versions of uh, the same operating system. or uh, Yeah, different operating system of the, of the calculator, whatever you want to call them. Okay, so I have all of them, little all of them, the Voyage, the original firmware that it came out with, and the latest firmware, etc., etc. So the TI4, that's pretty much what I have, pretty much all the uh, recent, uh, the recent uh, OS, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
and uh let's see which one okay so this one is not going to work because this one is uh yeah yeah this one is a color so i'm not gonna use that for uh, on this app okay so you just select the app i mean the operating system and uh the calculator tab is going to ask you which calculator tab so the the rom file is going to help you out uh in that department so ti 89 os so you click that and just select ti 89 and you press ok and uh, it's gonna put the file here so once you click on return it's gonna you know the the initial setup is gonna <laughs> it is that quick you know it's already set but since this is a galaxy z fold this is like a mini tablet you can also use uh, this like so you know <laughs> it's like if it, it feels like this app was solely made for this guy i mean this app was solely made for this phone you know you have all your function keys here it's pretty much uh, identical to the real physical calculator it's like it's literally one-to-one -one. you know it's literally one-to-one -one, but much much better when it comes to the speed this one is like a million times faster and you can even uh decrease the speed you know to match to match uh, your actual physical calculator you can do that as well so that is impressive that is just impressive okay so what i'm gonna do i am going to load all the firmware and uh you know okay so before i even do that so i'm just gonna show you uh, the options you get so you can uh, use your physical keyboard here as you can see so it lets you do that and uh, you can also install apps applications programs I've, I've done this many times it works really well you can take a screenshot of it you can synchronize the clock of your phone with it you can reset the calculator and it's just going to reset everything for you as you can see this all the features just uh, work really really well you can back up uh, the calculator okay run manager that's where you uh, you can install uh, uh, different calculators and if you go to configuration settings that's where you have even more features so you can uh, adjust the haptic feedback uh, the acoustic feedback you can uh, adjust that as well you know uh, when you click uh, uh, when you're clicking the uh, uh, the touch I mean the keys it's gonna make uh, those clicking noise and uh, zoom mode uh, that is for uh, for phones that display a tiny screen if you click zoom mode then it's gonna you know make the screen bigger it's gonna make the screen fit it's gonna make the calculator fit the entire screen and screen scale kind of does the same thing as well if uh, the screen is small like this then uh, you can just adjust this and uh, it will make a uh, uh, fit the screen lcd type solid so that matrix that is gonna try to mimic the real calculator display it doesn't really work that well you know i mean it works well don't get me wrong but you know i prefer having the solid screen because that's the advantage of having a of having the calculator on a cell phone you know to take advantage of that beautiful display okay so i'm gonna set it back to solid and uh enable grayscale as you can see here it says that uh, that is used uh, in certain games app and that it may decrease uh, the engine performance i never really i don't game on <laughs> i don't play game on calculator so i wasn't able to test that feature but i'm pretty sure it might it probably, it's probably going to work well okay and uh, for the 89 you can select the skin for the 89 titanium because those calculators are even visually pretty much identical for the most part okay and you can change the color of the screen you know you can uh the background color you can change it to whatever you know just uh play with it <laughs> as you can see here and uh you can even change uh the uh this uh, uh in ground or background color and all that stuff so that is really handy and uh you can uh auto off so after five minutes of uh no use the calculator is gonna turn itself off if you set this to uh, uh never then uh, it's never gonna turn off unless you turn it off by yourself and uh exit on screen off so what that does if you turn off the calculator then it's gonna exit out of the app for you so that works really well i use that a lot okay so next mm, you have uh, the safe state on exit well it does pretty much what it says set the emulator state before exiting the app so if i was doing uh, some operation you know uh okay if i was doing some operation here then uh it's just gonna save it for me whenever i exit i never experienced any data loss you know just gonna do that even if you close it this way and go back it's always gonna have your stuff on the stack here so no issue uh, with uh, losing data or whatever okay and uh let's see so the cpu speed that's where you can adjust uh, the cpu the cpu speed <laughs> 
you know this is just an overkill it is uh this engine is uh it's really fast i i can't i i don't know exactly by how much but it's uh, unbelievably fast you know uh things that takes uh, forever on your ti uh 89 titanium are going to take just a couple of seconds here like uh expressions and stuff but it, it also has a uh, limitation because it is an emulator it's not going to uh this was uh, uh it's, it's not an app an app is different from a from, uh from an well like a, a calculator app is different from a, uh a calculator emulator you know i don't know i don't know if you know what i'm saying even if you have even if you uh for those who play video games emulations of video games then you would realize having a really fast hardware does not translate to a better game experience when it comes to those em, uh, emulation so there is that and the app works on uh, really old android phones because it was made in 2012 and whether you have a galaxy whether you have a the latest samsung galaxy phone or you have a, a phone from 10 years ago the app is pretty much going to perform the same but it is it is going to be blazing fast at the same time okay so don't worry too much about the speed okay overclock when busy well that's what it says the calculator is trying is gonna access it's gonna try to uh perform the operation quicker energy save you know i like to turn this off overclock when busy and even energy save i like to turn all those off because if you don't have those off the calculator is gonna try to overclock itself every time you try to do every, even uh, every, even every time you try to move uh uh throughout the user interface it's gonna be like uh, almost unusable as you can see yeah so this is we, I, I can deal with this you know i can deal with uh, this speed but if you have uh, this uh overclock one busy on this is what happens uh if i press f2 uh let's see slow down if no activity uh if i have this on, this on as well i don't know but it doesn't seem to do it here but okay that it just did it so sometimes when you press this direction key it's just gonna take you all the way you see it has almost no control so that's what the over you see this is what i'm talking about that's what the overclock when busy does you see you can hardly select anything if i want to go to f3 i can hold this and uh, it's already <laughs> past f3 you see it's, it's pretty much unusable that's what the overclock when busy does if you have it off then uh you can uh just uh go to f3 easily as you can see the calculator is now going crazy okay so i think that's pretty much all the features to cover here and each single calculator has the same feature well for the most part they have pretty much the same feature when it comes to the cpu adjustment the lcd i'm not too sure but we're about to find out so i'm gonna pause the video load all the calculators and uh, we'll see okay so i just finished um uh, loading the rom files for all the calculators so in total as you can see i have 10 calculators here so this is just unbelievable <laughs> You know, I still can't believe that uh, you know we have uh, we have this much convenience. Anyways, I, I haven't started any calculator, so I just want to go through um, uh, the setup of every single calculator, so you can see it for yourself. Okay, so if I exit, that's gonna be the last calculator you load, which was the Voyage. And uh, for those big one, I'm just gonna open up the display. As you can see, this is pretty much one to one, as I said. So if you go to about. Uh, as you can see, this is running the latest firmware, 310. <laughs> Isn't this amazing? And the good thing is, you can find a different uh, firmware version online, and you can install all those firmware versions. So you can just compare the different OS versions if you want, if that's what you're into. Okay, you can check. You know, this is not a calculator tutorial. It's just uh, a review for this app. So you know, you already know it does pretty much everything. Okay. So next, from the Voyage, I'm gonna do the 92 plus. So it's gonna do the initial setup, and this is the 92 plus, okay, about. And as you can see, it is TI 92 plus at the top. It's running the latest OS as well. And the one thing I want to point out before I forget is that uh, the app is using uh, the same uh, uh, the same uh, faceplate uh, for uh, several calculators for the TI 83, 84. It is using the same faceplate, even the 84 silver edition, 83 silver edition, it is using the same faceplate for those or the same skin because those calculators are literally the same exact thing, okay? The keys are the same exact thing, okay? But for the uh, 92, 
uh, it is using the skin for the 92 plus i know this because the 92 from 1995 didn't have uh, this unit shortcut here because you could not do unit conversion on the 92 so that's one way to uh, uh to so if you press diamond key and p and it doesn't do anything that means you are using a 92 round okay but if i do that combination here it's going to take me to this unit convert okay so next uh there we go we have the reg 92 as you can see it, it loaded slightly differently and uh this is a 92 ROM. this is one of the very first one you can't really do much here as you can see one way to check the uh, or the only way to check the os or the the calculator really is by doing this combination f5 diamond key open or close open parentheses and uh, as you can see this is from 1995 it is ru running the version 1.11 software version 1.11 okay and uh yeah that is that and one way to know that is uh, the 92 from 1995 is by going to uh, the memory this one didn't have any flash memory it only has ram memory and it is pretty much small as well if you go to reset says memory default it doesn't show flash okay so that is that <laughs> okay so next let's move on to the handheld one so i'm gonna close the app at this point i'm gonna close the phone so we already saw uh, we already seen the 89 now let's check the 89 titanium as you can see it's gonna do the initial setup and boom you are in okay so if i go to home file about then uh as you can see this is indeed a ti 89 titanium okay so the good thing is i can also use this in landscape so yeah this is just uh, impressive okay so let me move quickly move to the other one okay we have the 83 i'm gonna do this really quick because i don't have much time it's almost 28 minutes so uh second memory then as you can see this is indeed uh, uh the uh, uh 83 regular 83 because it is so basic okay 83 plus as you can see the initial setup says 83 plus it is running the latest firmware as well okay and uh yeah uh, let's go to uh the 83 plus silver edition as you can see it says 83 plus silver edition okay you can check the memory if you want to and it's gonna show you the same name as well so let's go back uh 84 plus and the initial setup says 84 plus 2.55 mp ram clear and uh, press alpha and uh, yeah so as you can see it is pretty much a one-to-one -one. and 84 plus silver edition as well okay where i'm clear okay so i guess that's it for this overview uh <laughs> i think i said everything that needed to be said uh again you should really give uh, this app a, uh, a try you are not going to regret it and uh the good news is for hp lovers you have something very similar for HP calculators, it is actually really, really nice. It's pretty much, it's almost as good as this one, okay? And I'm gonna cover that app in a, in a, in a future video. But uh, if you wanna give that app a try as well, that really does not require any, uh, you don't, you are not required to load any ROM files for that. That one comes with pretty much all the ROMs. It is called uh, EMU, that's uh, E-M-U-48. So EMU or EMU, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's called is spell E M U for A. Check it out. It is on the Play Store. I don't believe that is on the App Store. I could be wrong, but yeah, that is that. If you have any questions, just make sure you put it in the comment section. With that being said, I'm out.